Thank Go you, Cyclones, man. Appreciate it. <laughs> so he lost the bet, I take it? Yeah, a little, another friendly wager. Unfortunately, uh, my Bearcats, my Bearcats are struggling right now in the Big 12. And uh, it's all right. We got Baylor this week. Okay. We got Baylor this week. Hopefully, we can bounce back and, and get the train rolling. So, what was he going to have to do if Cincinnati won the game? I forget what was it. Yeah, was the worst still standing here. Yeah. yeah, maybe I had him. I don't know. I was going to give, give Cincinnati a call and figure it out on the run. <laughs> <laughs> and Travis potentially Derwin James this week. What's the like? Potentially, I, I'd, I'd, assume, <laughs> I'd assume I'd see him pretty often. Um, you know, in my mind, the best safety in the league right now. Uh, that I got to go against and, um, you know, just the, the ultimate respect for him, you know, both on and off the field. And um, it's always a battle. It is always a battle. And he, uh, he doesn't make my job easy by any means. Travis, that little wrestling movie put on you was last year, uh, the suplex or whatever you call it. I mean, was that, obviously it's in the heat of the battle, but was that problematic for you to bother you that he went that far? No. No. As long as we come out of that thing with a win, that's all. I'm, that's all I'm really caring about. Um, try not to get myself in that situation. Anytime you're on top of a guy's shoulders like that, uh, it's not good. <laughs> Travis, there's, is there a certain excitement when you play, you know, with the best in the league, as you just described? Oh, without a doubt, man. I mean, it's just, it, it, it fires you up. You know, I, I want to play everybody at their best um, with everybody out there and, you know, with everybody at the, t at the peak of their game. And um, sure enough, that's where uh, a lot of guys on their, on their defense are, you know. Talking about 5-2, Khalil Mack, um, you know, Bosa. I mean, the whole gang is uh, is what you got to worry about. And on top of that, um, you know, their defensive coordinator can uh, can mix up some things and um, and make you work both mentally and physically. So. Travis, how much do you value the time you spend with your brother even during the week? You know, going to um, you know, family time is priceless, man. Anytime you can get around uh, your loved ones, I mean, you got to take advantage of that. And unfortunately, during the football season, or because of football season, I, I don't get to see him uh, in person. You know, I, New Heights, our podcast has been able to, you know, kind of bring together what we've, uh, we're, what we've really been missing since college days. But, um, you know, any chance I get to go and uh, hang out with them or see my mom and dad, you know, I'm, uh, I'm always jumping at the bit. Have you, did you guys anticipate the popularity <clears throat> of that podcast? When you started, I don't think, and I don't think either one of us could have anticipated it is where it is now. Um, you know, both of us having great seasons last year, meeting up in the Super Bowl obviously has a lot to do with that. But um, everybody getting to know my brother more uh, from a personal standpoint, you know, getting that, getting the offensive lineman a little bit more face time, uh, I think that's been awesome, and people have really appreciated that. Travis, big picture, what do you see from the offense right now? I see us moving in the right direction, to be honest. I mean, we're not putting up the points that we want. Um, but at the same time, you know, we, uh, we got good direction on where, where we can clean things up and where we can, you know, move forward. And that's the biggest thing, because we got guys that, uh, that are finding their roles, that are getting more comfortable into their roles. Um, and it's just going to keep going from there. Guys are, every single week, you see them flying around a little bit faster at practice, um, attacking the ball a little bit differently. And uh, all that's going to translate into the game as long as we just keep, you know, working our tails off like we have there. What did you I'll, say to McCollum when he came back into the building? Just gave him a big old hug. Good to have a guy <laughs> back, man. It's uh, it's crazy when you get a guy like McCollum who's got a big personality, um, you know, friend friends with everybody on the team, a brother to everybody on the team, both offense and defense. When you get a guy like that back in the building, um, it just uh, it lights everybody up. It gives everybody that good mojo. It was similar to when you know a guy like Blake Bell came back, um, and um, you know. It's just uh, you like to see the good guys come back, and, and sure enough, you'll see them out there flying around having having a blast on Sunday. We'll go last three: Vahe, Aaron, and Nate. Go ahead, Vahe. Travis, how did you enjoy the return to SNL, and and, and did you um, enjoy the theme of the skit? Man, movie? it was it was funny. Yeah, <laughs> obviously didn't know what was gonna what was gonna go down, and just decided to hit SNL last second, and uh, and they asked me if I wanted to kind of end the skit that was about um, you know me and Taylor's takeover of the NFL games. Uh, which was hilarious. I loved every bit of it, um, and it was laughing my tail off during the skit. And um, to be honest, I don't even remember saying anything. I hoped I read the card right. And, uh, the electricity and just the the energy from the crowd and just being up there, um, it felt like I was hosting it all over again. And are you kind of in their role with that? I mean, I'll just call you. Up. <laughs> I mean, um, they haven't kicked me out yet, which is a good thing. So we'll see. Uh, we'll see next time I'm in New York if uh, if they let me back in. Aaron? You and Taylor is a very popular Halloween costume coming up this year. What do people have to have if they want to dress up as you for their costume? Man, um, 
the the mustache is slowly starting to disappear, but I'll tell you what, man, that stash in the '87 jersey was pretty iconic there for a little bit, um, and it was and I had it when I when I met Taylor for the first time. So I guess just my my stash, and then um, yeah, maybe uh, maybe uh, what is it? A, uh, who knows, man? What else? What else? Football, maybe. Oh, maybe a bracelet or something. I don't know. <laughs> Nate, um, Trevor, that's two questions actually. The first one is, how much of this year's October is similar to you from last year's October? Just trying to get better as the season goes along, but also winning games. Well, I mean, every single year is different, and then you get you get dealt, you know, different challenges. Um, and right now, I just feel like uh, we're hitting stride um, as a unit, as a group. And everybody's not getting frustrated with it. We're starting. We're still trying to, you know, build it. Like I said earlier, um, and find where everybody's role is in this offense. And it's just going to keep growing from there. But I think October's October and November is that year, or the two months throughout the year where you really build the team, and um, you can't get frustrated with the downs. Yeah. And, and lastly, when you were here in 2013, you guys played a lot of games at noon or one o'clock. Yeah. Um, how unique is it for you to start your career kind of in that sort of point of where the team is to now being in prime time? Obviously, you're going to go to Germany here in a couple of weeks, having two Thursday night games. Just the uniqueness of this schedule compared to maybe when you were a rookie or you know your first year on the team. Yeah, I mean, it's just um, you know, it's hats off to what Coach Reed has been able to build here. Um, I think that you know the prime time games are what you really. That's what you play for, in my mind. You know, I do love a good, you know, one o'clock noon game, uh, at mid afternoon game where it, it ends with the lights on and everything. But um, there's something about that primetime game and being the only show on that just, you know, gets you excited, even just coming into the into the stadium. And um, that's when you really, you know, you really want to show out for your friends and family and all the people that helped you along the way. So, um, you know, it's really what Coach Reed and and, and the coaching staff and everybody's been able to to you know, implement here as a culture. And um, I've just been fortunate to kind of see it develop from, uh, from beginning to where it is now. Okay. Thanks, Jeff. Thanks, 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 Thanks,